Welcome food lovers! My name is Joy and with this channel, I want to share my love for Filipino food with you. I started cooking Filipino recipes when I was 12 years old to help my parents while working around the farm. Into this video, we will make squid adobo, also known as adobong pusit. This is one of the favorite dishes of Filipinos because it is low-cost and straightforward recipe. I recommend using small fresh squid. Don't overcook it, otherwise it will turn out chewy. Also, I recommend using teriyaki sauce instead of the usual sauces. We will also substitute vinegar with pomegranate juice. This recipe should take 1 hour of total preparation time. For this recipe, we will need 35 ounces of squid washed, 5 tablespoons of lemon juice, 1 tablespoon of canola oil, 5 cloves of crushed garlic, 2 small pieces of ginger diced, 3 pieces of medium-sized tomatoes sliced, 1 half cup of teriyaki sauce, 1 and a half cup of pomegranate juice, 5 bay leaves, 1 teaspoon of sugar, salt and pepper. First, we will marinate the squid in lemon juice. Place the squid into the large glass bowl. Add the lemon juice. Use your hands to mix it. Put the bowl aside and let it marinate while we start heating our 11-inch shallow casserole. Start on a low heat and add the oil. Once the oil is heated, add the garlic and cook it until golden. Add the ginger and cook it for about 2 minutes until golden. Add the tomatoes and mix well until they turn brownish. Add the squid and cook it for about 2 minutes until it turns pinkish. Slowly stir the squid while adding the teriyaki sauce. Pomegranate, bay leaves, sugar, pepper, and salt. Cover the casserole for about 30 minutes until the squid is tender when first with the pork. This dish is best served immediately while still hot. If you have leftovers, you can put them in the refrigerator for about 3 days. Thank you for watching and enjoy your meal.